knock out pretty much. We're gonna knock him, knock out Guard of Rex. There goes Guard of War. And we got another Bats. So whatever they put out, I can start working on the Xerneas EX. <laughs> and they just commit um, Saibot 2 and they just give up the game. Uh, that's okay. What was I, turn 2? Turn 3. <laughs>
Uh, everyone knows, knows, knows what Shaman does. He does set up. It's drawn until he has six. We have the Zubat line, which is um, one of my favorite po uh, Pokemon lines of all times. I just love fitting them into any kind of deck. Uh, Golbat, of course, 70 HP. Uh, electric, uh, weak to Electric is uh, neat because it does not weak to Psychic Pokemon, but of course, Mega Man Electric is a popular thing. Um, Sneaky Bite, when you evolve, you place two damage counters on one of your opponent's Pokemon. Uh, you have to evolve from your hand, of course. And then Crobat is the exact same thing. Once you evolve from your hand, you put three uh, damage counters on your opponent's Pokemon. So, uh, super amazing. 130, uh, so pretty bulky. And they have, what I like about them is they have free retreat costs. So even if, if you don't know exactly what to do next, you can actually put them in the active spot and think of uh, think of how to play your hand out first. And then once you're all set, you can ret retreat it into an Entei, which I, re I really like the options of free retreat costs here. Uh, we have three burning torches, or I'm sorry, fury torches to, of course, discard fire energy. We have one sacred dash to get back any kind of uh, Pokemon we have in the lost in the, in the discard pile. We have two target whistles. The target whistles are actually very trolly. Uh, they're one of the funnier parts of this deck. Um, essentially, what you want to do is you want to target whistle a useless Pokemon, maybe a Shaman. Or uh, Shaman works very well because Shaman ability only activates when you play it from your hand. Does not activate when you play it from, like, I guess, target whistle. Uh, what you want to do is um, if you you want to increase Entei's attack power, so of course you're gonna target whistle a useless Pokemon back onto the um, onto the uh, bench and then use add more power to your Entei's attack. Entei's attack. So target whistle is a fun card. I really like it. It's always super trolly. Uh, we got four trainers mail because we need to get out things as fast as possible. We got three ultra balls. This is mostly for actually the shamans. We want to usually just draw into the Crobats and Gobats on their own. Uh, we got four versus seekers for you know the usual sycamores blacksmith az's we got one az because uh, although they are important the most important thing is actually entei uh, we got two blacksmiths uh, to power up entei's uh, fast and ready to go and we have one uh, lysander target out major threats two birches because uh, more as more and more time goes on i really don't like birch because i always get tails it's just how I, I how i flip so i mean i might replace it with shauna later on uh, we got four sycamores, uh, three scorched earths, three muscle bands, and ten fire energies. I would actually prefer to run a little, like maybe nine, but uh, uh, once again, PG Joe does not really like me all too much, so I have to put just ten just to have for sure I get at least a nice, decent hand of fire energies going on. Plus, I can discard them, so I mean, it's always they're at they're 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 draw, they're draw power, uh, so I, I really don't have a problem with it. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the deck. It is it is a beginner deck. Like it's 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 a really basic deck. Uh, it's not it's not an advanced deck. You have to think super hard about it. It's just a really basic deck, and the whole point of it is to amb uh, to outspeed your opponent and try to try to get the jump on them with uh, damage before they can recuperate. However, this deck can uh, have um you you can find a deck where this deck is essentially is a little slower, but uh, once you pick up speed, it, it becomes okay. Hopefully it's not too late to pick a speed, but once you pick a speed, it'll be it'll be just fine. Uh, I had a I had a deck with a Mega Ray, which I won't be able to show you because it didn't have Shaman in it. And I don't wanna I don't wanna upload a deck that wasn't exactly the same as what I'm showing you here. But I, I was finding a Mega Ray deck and I almost run, but I made a I made a big misplay. Um, I I had energies onto my Entei and I had Blacksmith by accident. I had last minute Blacksmith right in my hand. And I was kind of like target um, happy trigger about it. And I clicked my blacksmith by accident, and then let me, I put two more edges on the ente and instead of last centering out the shaman to knock it out. Um, but yeah, but I'm gonna show you the other decks, you know, the usual. All right, uh, hope you guys enjoy the matches. So we are going against our pirate. Mm, I guess I think it's what I'm saying, and she's running just a straight second deck, which is I guess kind of refreshing. I know there's not a shaman in here, I guess. I don't know. It could be Kalid, it could be... Um, I don't know. What is it like? Oh, hey, is it Wolf it's, it's probably Wolf of Bats. I'm almost about sure why not. Uh, thank you, a Sigmore, that's what I was looking for. And then we'll go ahead and touch a Muscle Band. I'll play a Sacred Earth. Might as well touch an Energy. And then we'll go ahead and Sacred Earth. I need Scorch Earth, our Fire Energy. Get a transmail, our last transmail of the day, pretty much. Ultra Ball away. Hmm. Oh, I'm gonna watch Ball away either way. And get a, a bat. Nice. And then we're gonna take more. And then we get another Entei out and another Burst Seeker. And I think it's like 
Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Yeah, and then end of turn. You can't win them all, I guess. Uh, my opponent, I'm assuming it's Boba Fett Bats, which would be pretty cool, because we also have Bats. Yeah, so a Boba Fett Bats. It's a fun deck. She gets rid of our Scorcher, which is a bummer. And then she's attacking Assaults. Uh, we get it back. Nice. I'm going to have to get rid of this as soon as possible. I think that's good enough. Uh, we get another Muscle Band and a Sycamore. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80. I think I'm going to do 90. Uh, you know what? Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to Combat Blaze for 80. Next turn, I'm going to Evolve and then Sycamore. And then knock out the active. What does that do? Like 70? <laughs> But uh, it's ooh okay all oh, forty okay so good for us put on another Z-Bat. evolve this knock out that uh, we get another crowbat so crowbat was prize we're gonna just sick more sick more and then uh uh touch an energy here uh, we'll go ahead and get out another Zubat. Uh, Shaman just to, just to look pretty, and then we'll Scorched Earth. Uh, we get a Shaman, but we're not gonna need it. And then Combat Blaze for 60, and that's about it. Um, she's gonna escape rope. We'll go ahead and put the Crowbat out. Free retreat cost, <laughs> and we're not affected by weaknesses of. And then she just commits Saibatsu. Okay, so yay. Uh, I guess we'll go. I guess we'll just do some more. Um, a lot of concede, uh, concedes. Alright, so two minutes. Nice! So we are going against Beck2517 and he's running a fairy deck. So God of War, what's that? Whimsicott and Aromatis and um, uh, Azurnius. So uh, he's probably going to go second. I mean, it really depends on. Um, fairy deck. It really depends if you open up with Xerneas or not, because if you do, you get to do a first turn ge a Geomancy, and if you don't, then you kind of just have to wait another turn, but you get down, you get to put down energy, and it really depends. Um, so my opponent is picking if he's going to go first, second, he's going to go first. Uh, we don't get anything amazing, we get uh, nothing amazing either way. Uh, still nothing amazing. Uh, nothing amazing. I'm getting the draw the same hat. <laughs> there we go. A beautiful hand. Straight Zubat, which is okay because I can, uh, if I at least get out a um, Ente, then I guess I get the full bench going. Uh, let's just see. So he opens up with three Xerneas. Uh, I forgot to put out a Zubat, but I guess it's fine. He got a Spritzy. He's got plenty of cards since my Mulligan, so even if he had a bad hand, he at least has more options to work with. Put on the Spritzy, I'm, I'm expecting to see some kind of Xerneas. Uh, put Spoken Fan Club, he's gonna play that probably, yep. And he's gonna get out a Xerneas EX and another Xerneas. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing he's taking advantage of the ladder. Uh, I'm, I'm guessing he was really enthused by the, la the ladder itself and he's gonna start. Hey, we got an Ente. Not shabby, I guess. Uh, I guess uh, he really was playing the ladder. And so he got, at least, I'm guessing pretty far in it. And so he was able to get a nice, decent hand. Uh, nah, I won't take that. Uh, I'm gonna have to take more. Bye, Shaman. Uh, we get a fire energy, which is nice. Uh, we'll go ahead and put down this fire energy, and we'll go ahead and sacred, yeah, sacred, um, sort scorched earth the fire energy way. We get a lessener, which is actually a big help here, and we're gonna end our turn. We got a crowbat and a crowbat. I think I'm gonna lesson out the Spritzy. Uh, if I get rid of the, her, its ability to move around the energy, I get rid of like half of the deck. Really, I get rid of the engine of the deck. Um, I'm not fearing a knockout here because obviously he's not gonna be able to knock me out. He's just gonna get energy to move around. Hopefully, put some on one on Spritzy and one on something else. So I can just slow him down just a little bit longer. Uh, after that, then he has a restock. Good thing about this fairy decks usually take quite a bit of time to um, set up. Ooh, so he's gonna put double colors, I believe, right? Yeah, double colors there, and he's gonna geomancy. There you go, <laughs> geomancy. One onto the road uh, Xerneas, and the other to the other Xerneas, um, which is actually kind of fine. Uh, 
Is there anything I can knock out this at this point in time? There's nothing I can really knock out. So I'm just gonna touch here. Ball into my goal bat. Oh. Hit the Xerneas. And let's see. We do 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We do 140. Just shy. Uh, so I might as well just knock out the Xerneas, uh, the Romatis. And we're going to go and retreat into uh, this. Uh, we're going to retreat to Dante. Actually, you know what? I could try hitting the Xerneas for the, as much as I can. He could just retreat and take the energy off and Cassius away, which would be a bummer. I can knock out the Zer this active Xerneas. I can knock out the Romatis. Um, the only thing I'm fearing is that once I knock out the Romatis, he's going to just knock me back out with his uh, Xerneas. If I get a blacksmith, then we're okay. But if I don't, then we're kind of in a in a bad in a bad situation. But I'm just gonna go ahead and got, knock out the Romatia since it is the main part of the deck. Combat Blaze for 140, knocking that out. We get a fire energy, which is okay. I, I mean, yeah, uh, we get a blacksmith. We're in good shape. He does put out the one with almost all the energy on it. Uh, of course, yeah, exactly. He's gonna touch another energy and he's gonna do X Blast and knock us out. He's gonna get another Spritzy down. Uh, we're just slowing him down, but. Uh, like I said, if we get a blacksmith right here, it would be really, really perfect. But that's the whole point. If we get a blacksmith. <laughs> um, or a verse seeker, actually. I'm going to put out the, the bat because it has a few chicas. So it's good. We get a crow bat. Mm, not what I was looking for. But I guess we'll have to do. Uh, luckily, he can't X blast again. He has a retreat. So I'm going to have to put my energy onto my. Um, onto my Entei. And I lost a, lost a Shaman and, a, and another thing, so it's not too important. I'm just gonna go ahead and Birch. Hopefully I get heads. I get heads, yay. And I get another Entei and a Muscle Band. I'm gonna put onto my active and I also get a Blacksmith. So I'm just gonna go ahead and leave my Crobat in the, act, uh, the active spot. Free retreat cost, of course. Uh, he's gonna evolve again to Spritzy, or I mean the Romatisse, and he's gonna X-Blast with this new one. I believe that's what I would assume he'd be doing. He's gonna last center out my Entei uh, or a Shaman. Couldn't last out the Shaman. Uh, two prize cards. Let's see what he done. Let's see who he's gonna X blast. Target out the Entei, which is okay, I guess. Uh, we'll put our active Entei. We need to do 120, right? So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. We can knock out the Xerneas. Or we can start doing damage to this one. Uh, I'm going to start knocking out the Xerneas, I believe. It's probably the best bet here. Uh, actually, I can't knock it out. I messed up. I keep thinking Last Ender is not a supporter, but it is. But you know what? We can actually put damages onto these Pokemon. So that way, if we ever get our bats out, we can actually do some major damage. So I'm gonna go and do combat blaze for 120. Now both the Xerneas are pretty weak. He's gotta do something about it. Uh, if we get two Crobats out, we'll be knocking out at least the active Xerneas. And if we don't, then eh, it's not, it's not the end of the world, I guess. Uh, he's gonna tier no for, uh, I guess just three, but I don't know if he's gonna draw anything else from that. He's gonna retreat into his other Xerneas EX. And then he's gonna put energy. He's gonna spread it out. It's pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my. Mm, let's go with Entei. I can just black. Hey, you know what? Let's go with Crobat. Free retreat cost. Uh, we get an Ultra Ball. He's at 50, which is a bummer. And then Xerneas is at 120. So, hmm. We can go ahead and get rid of the Crobat and the Target Whistle. Get out of Golbat. We have plenty of Golbats there. Uh, we'll go ahead and evolve our Crobat, uh, our Golbat, into the Xerneas. Click confirm. Uh, 120. We're gonna have to. Yep, we're gonna have to do it. Um, we'll go ahead and blacksmith once again onto our Entei. Oh, there it is. <laughs> onto Entei. Retreat into the Entei, and then Combat Blaze. Knocking out this Xerneas EX. We get another Blacksmith, so I mean, perfect, but we don't have an Entei, which is. Uh, it's okay. Our Entei's are prized. And our Entei's are on this car pile. 
um, but we do have Sacred Ash. So uh, the reason why I put uh, the damage counters onto the Zerny Six is because if I get a Crobat, that's automatically knocked out. So I'm making my opponent think which one to do. Xerneas itself doesn't really do too much damage with unless it has a Muscle Band, so uh, we can actually trade prize cards. Uh, he's gonna put out another Xerneas EX, which would be a bummer, but he's gonna have to X Blast. There it is. Uh, one of the good things about this is that all his energy is onto this uh, Xerneas itself. So, I mean, uh, mm, let's see how many energies. I'm gonna count how many energies. One, two, three, four. We have four energies in discard pile. We have plenty then. Uh, I'm not sure if I should just attach to this one or not. Let me see how many verse seekers are also in discard pile. One, two, three. So we should have enough. But I'm gonna go and. Ah, uh, you know what? I'm just risk it. Uh, risk it too hard. <laughs> uh, just a little bit risking too hard there. Uh, we need to do 30 to it. Uh, luckily, I can still attach energy. Um, oof, that's playing it. That's playing it close. Uh. You know what, I'd rather not risk it at all. I'm gonna put damage cards onto the other uh, other Xerneas EX and skill dive onto this Xerneas EX. Knocking it out, getting two more prize cards. Uh, the reason why I put damage on that one just to, once again, make him uh, think about putting it out. And he is just basically a uh, Xerneas away from Naka. He's gonna have to Geomancy to get energy back again to the, into his um, deck. Uh, luckily for us, if we get a First secret, I'm also. Oh, we got a muscle band. Um, you know what we can? Oh, we can't do that. Uh, we can we? I can. I can actually target whistle the spritzy out. It has 50. I need to. I need to be able to evolve on this turn. So you know what? We'll go for the haymaker. We're gonna target whistle out the spritzy, and then we're gonna go sycamore. Uh, we get a crowbat. Put the crowbat down. Hit the Spritzy, skill dive on the Spritzy, knocking it out, and that is victory. <laughs> so I guess that's it. <laughs> so we're knocking out the Spritzy, um, and I guess we're knocking out one of the, I guess, future decks, since this is giving you the Adrenius and the ladder. Uh, I'm not exactly sure. We just, uh, so yeah, uh, Entei did the most damage. He's the MVP, of course, with the help of, of his buddy, Crobat, and of course, his Support buddy, uh, Shaman, even though I don't really want to put Shaman in this deck, it really helps on PTTCGO at least. I mean, on the locals, I mean, in leagues, you don't have to run him, but in PTTGO, Shaman really, really helps out because sometimes your hand is horrific sometimes. It's like straight out of a horror movie. Um, but yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed the deck. If you guys did, please leave a like on the bottom. And then also, whatever, if you guys want to comment a, a deck suggestion, go for it. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm down for whatever. The kind of weird decks you want to see if you like honestly like joke decks go for it too I, I really enjoy making wacky decks either way i mean it doesn't really bother me and uh, the next deck is going to be the karam archie's deck because um another uh, person had requested to see it earlier and i told him that i want to just space it out just a little bit and you know what it's been like about two or three videos since then so you know that's good enough space and i'm gonna upload the archie's uh karam ex deck which is be really fun should be up it should be up sooner than another deck because it's already on high made. Uh, and I'm also going to actually upload um, created cards. Uh, I, I made a couple of cards. It took, a quite, it took a quite a bit of time actually to make those. Um, but I'm going to upload them so I can tell you guys what kind of cards I made and how they work. And some of them might be a little overpowered. Some of them might be underwhelming. But I mean, I, I, I feel like if they were actually introduced into the game, there would be kind of a cool concept because it would make you use cards that you don't normally have to use like i made i made a burn card in here so burn decks are officially back if this was a card and uh i also made a mega thing for mega pokemon just to help them out because uh you know huge but yeah so hope you guys did enjoy the match uh, i ramble on too long but uh have a great day guys